Before we get started, I want to make sure I say thank you to Matt D. As I was editing this, Matt hit me on PayPal, and he was the one that sent the PayPal, and I want to make sure I got him a shout-out. Appreciate you, Matt D., for uh, supporting the channel through PayPal. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And as you see from the title, we're going to talk about lost yardage or missed opportunities. Now, I will preface this by saying I do not expect Snoop to be perfect. I do not expect him to hit all of these plays like in the heat of battle. This is just a look from a from my perspective of um, opportunities that were missed and maybe can be learned from and use maybe Saturday or the next Saturday, depending on how many more starts Snoop gets. So this is not me saying he should have been perfect and should have hit all these plays or throws or opportunities or not even just Snoop, the rest of the team. But I just Snoop was on my mind to start with. But I just wanted to preference that by saying I'm not hating. I'm just kind of going back and looking at ways where there was some yardage we could have gotten and potentially scored more points. So that's that's what we're doing right here. And um, the entire offensive film is 30 minutes long, but we're not looking at every play. There are certain plays that, that I noticed while I was watching and charting um, yesterday that there were some play, you know, what we missed out on some opportunities. And I just kind of fast forward through a lot of this stuff. Because there were um, opportunities. Obviously, the obvious ones are like the fumble on four from one and stuff like that. But there were some plays that I actually saw in the midst of the game, like this play right here. Let me go back to this one. I don't know if you noticed or not, but we only got 10 drowned people on the field. Let me get back to the all, all 22. You only got 10 people on the field. Check them. One, two, three, four, five, then the five linemen. Now, when you look at the end zone view, watch Snoop send the back in motion. But ain't no back. Watch Snoop send it back in motion. Watch this. He sent it likely. And I even send it back out there because it's supposed to be a two-man snag. Where's the back? <laughs> See, missed opportunities. <laughs> Alright, look at this play. It's third and two. This is one of the plays I noticed during the game. It's third and two. You bring in Gus back in motion. Got to set up. Now, look at this cushion. Look at that cushion. This is the, the first down mark is this, this is your line right here. Why not throw, just throw a quick out? Why not just throw a kick quick out? And look, look, look at what they're doing. Bam, bam. You good. But instead, we have to, we don't get it on that. All right, this is another play where I felt like, you know, if, if it was a read on the backside of this counter, and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Running a counter, one of our most successful plays this week. But imagine if it was a read. And with his shoulders squared that way, going toward the back, if Snoop was to read this and would have kept it and pulled it, look at Alley. Look at Alley. And I know I'm being I'm being armchair, I'm being money money quarterback, but I preference that before the start of the video. I'm just saying. There's some yardage that could have been had that we didn't have. And I'm just looking at it, you know, from a corrective point of view. All right, another situation. Third and six. And basically the same one as the one we looked at a minute ago. It's third and six. You got one on one. With a huge cushion with your best player. With your best player. And yes, you got this cat kind of lurking. You got him kind of lurking, but you still. You run out with your best guy, you should be able to hit it. You can't, you can't, you can't forget him, but still. Get that. You know, because he probably gonna back off some, and you you got it. 
Easy, easy throw, in my opinion. And you on this hash, so it's not the big boy out. It's it's a closer throw. So now, even more so, this dude's coming. Look at that. Throw it down the mark. That's a simple throw. Throw it now. Missed opportunity. And he's still going to throw it to him, but watch how late it is. By that time, Mark was already in scramble mode trying to turn up the field. All right, let's take a look at this play right here. You're going to get um, post post wheel. You get the post by likely. You get the wheel by, I think, DJ. But the thing is, as far as, you know, keeping with the theme of this video, watch this post to likely. You got to throw that. You can hit that. You can hit that throw. Because, look, you, your protection is still good. You can hit that throw without having to scramble. Hit likely right here, and, and who says he scores, but he's off to the races. Throw that ball. That's pass pro still good. Throw that. Because you still end up, we're getting the ball to D-Jack on this, but instead of getting D-Jack going out right here, you got likely run down the middle of the field with guys trying to tackle him. And that's why I said maybe a score, maybe not. But still, instead of getting this ball right here at the 43, you got likely run down the middle of this field with people trying to tackle him. So, again, you know, nothing agree. Well, I ain't going to say it's not egregious, but just you look at film and you, oh, oh, I missed that. Make sure I don't miss it next time. That's that's why we're looking at this. All right, this next play right here. If Linda Bum could have held – off the defender for about, like say two or three more steps you had opportunities here you see Linda Bum right here fighting and he's going to get beat which forces Snoop to get rid of the ball quick but if he can if he if he's square in front of this guy can hold him off and Snoop can stay like stay here and not have to to rotate look at what he got he got Mark with all this space because he still got a good base just, just turn the shoulders and throw it that way. And I understand the guy's coming. That's why I said what I said earlier. You got you got Mark with all that coming. Or you got um this throw here to D-Rob because the safety's back is turned that way. But, you know, you can't because he got a guy bearing down on him. And he got the check down off, which is fine. But I'm just saying, we're talking about missed opportunities that what could have, would have, should have been. That's all. Opportunities where this would have been another touchdown. And I don't know if he scored a touchdown on this drive or not, but um, that could have been one. All right, we got one right here that I didn't notice earlier, but let's just let's just check it out. I noticed it just a second ago. We get a little play action, and what you're gonna get is DJ on one of them big boy posts. So now you really got a two for two. You got Mark, and you got DJ focus on this corner and this safety. And what's going to happen is this safety is going to get flat-footed. He ain't going to move too much, but he's going to be flat-footed while d kind of right here. And we all know what should happen in that case. If I'm even, I'm leaving. And again, we, what we want to do is when we when DJ gets about right here, look and see at the protection. See if he's in a spot where he can throw the ball. Great protection. Great protection. Now, see that he's, he's flat-footed. This ball should be thrown over the top because he can't turn around and catch Deshaun Jackson unless it's an awkward throw. Well, And if it's an awkward throw, it would be this guy to go get it and not him because he's cooked. Being flat-footed right there with D-Jack running past him, he cooked. See, look at that. If Snoop get that ball up, because he still got protection, still got time, throw it over here somewhere. Let, let him run and go get it. But he comes to Mark right here. And we get the completion. We get the first down. But just saying what could have been. What could have been? That's all. Now, all these could have, would have, should have ain't just the pass game. You got some in the run game, too. Now, they're running outside zone left. This is the aiming point for the running back. He's supposed to cut off Ronnie Stanley's block. If Ronnie Stanley hooks the guy, he tries to go outside. If Ronnie keep running, keep running, keep running, he follows it, and once he gets close to it, stick his foot in the ground and go. Let's see what Gus does. Remember, Stanley's the key. Stanley's the aiming point. So Stanley has this guy hooked. 
So that tells me I need to get out there and get to it. Now, it's, it's great. The only person that's free is 55. And if Gus pushes this, Stanley probably going to peel off to 55. But he don't. He stick his foot in the ground and go right now. And guess who makes the tackle? Mm. But had he stayed out here where he's supposed to have been, you got Stanley Ricard with a with a two v, two versus one, and fifty five would have been up in here somewhere for them to come off on him. Trust your coaching, trust your coaching. Very next play, very next play, they run an outside zone right. This is his aiming point now, Morgan Moses. He's, look, that's perfect. That is perfection if you love O-line play. That is perfection if you love O-line play. My bad, I went too fast. So, again, Moses is the, the aiming point. He's looking to cut back already. He's looking to cut back already. Now, he cuts it back, and 51 makes the tackle, and the backside guy, and 34 on the backside. But again, let's just focus here. If he pushes it like he's supposed to. That the one's scraping like he's supposed to. He, and I just keep going, Gus. If you keep going, Ben Powers comes off on that. If you keep going, Ricard comes off on that. Now you come out here with Minka Fitzpatrick. Just you and Minka by yourself. Now I know Minka's a big hitter, but you're a big hitter too, Gus. Follow, trust it. Just trust it. You cutting back. And this guy would have been blocked had you stayed on. Then he wouldn't have been a factor because he was behind the play. You letting two guys that shouldn't even been in the play get in there and get tackles because you did, you cut it back. Missed opportunities. Those are just a few of the plays, and I really hate seeing that. But those are just a few of the plays that, um, matter of fact, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Then I get out of here. So this is uh, counter bash, QB counter bash. You got the jet sweep motion by Duve, I think. You got Drake doing the back away. That's the bash part of it. You got Linda Bum pulling around. You got Ronnie pulling around. Well, this is the one play. This is probably Cologne's worst play. Cologne's job is to down block on this dude. Leonard Bump's going to pull. Stanley's going to pull. Leonard Bump should pull and kick out. Stanley should pull and wrap up to the first linebacker. But Tristan loses loses this, uh, this down block. So now Ronnie does what he's supposed to. You can't pass up color. So Ronnie now has to pick up the guy Cologne loses to. See how Ronnie picks him up right here? Ryan does a great job picking him up. Now, what Ryan should be doing, he shouldn't be blocking this dude. He should be leading up in there for Snoop. If he leads up in there, that puts Ronnie Stanley on Minka Fitzpatrick, and Snoop's probably out the gate. Well, this this would be the only dude left. That would be the only dude left. But because, uh, not McCarr, because Cologne missed that block, and he didn't play bad, but he did miss this one. Ronnie now has to get his guy, and then Minka's solo dolo by himself. Even though, and he still comes back in and makes the play too. The same guy that that um, Cologne was supposed to block. He has Snoop low. Minka hits him high, and that's the end of Snoop for the day. But again, this play right here exemplifies missed missed opportunities. Just missed opportunities because Minka shouldn't even been on that play. Ryan should have been with a head of steam ready to destroy him, but he wasn't. But again, I'm happy we got the win, and I'm just saying, just looking back at the film and noticing this while I was charting plays earlier. Uh, some plays that we could have done better on and, and got more yardage and possibly even scored on. But if you like this uh, video, make sure you like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Uh, comment if you agree with what I said, even if you don't agree, put it in there. And I try to get to all those comments. And um, I appreciate everybody that supports the channel. If you wanted to support the channel, those links are in the description. Uh, I think I got the merch back up and working. So that link should work also now to take you to spring. And I got some things on my, my store. Uh, if you want to purchase it, please do so. I'd appreciate it. 
you know, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you. See y'all soon. Peace.